Hey everybody, I'm Jared with Lakeshore Learning. It's STEM and STEAM Day, and we're celebrating by helping you make science, technology, engineering, arts, and math a part of your adventure. Where? In the kitchen. We love STEAM because it encourages kids to be curious and creative through hands-on projects and exploration. Today, we'll look at STEAM concepts behind the foods you enjoy every day, then we'll do an easy edible activity. Have you ever thought about the role of the steam process in cooking? To follow the steam process, you plan, create, and test. Then ask how to improve what you made. When you follow this process, you practice problem solving, predicting, and critical thinking. You also learn how to face challenges and be persistent. The steam process is important for people like scientists and builders, and also for people who work with food in the culinary arts. What's fun about following the steam process to make food is that you get tasty rewards for your persistence. Let's look at an example. A chef making bread. She starts with a plan, which is usually a recipe. Then she creates, using math skills and making predictions as she puts ingredients together. If the chef wants to add or subtract ingredients or change measurements to make a bigger or smaller loaf of bread, she needs to think critically about how those changes will affect the final product. Once that warm loaf of bread comes out of the oven, the chef tests it and asks herself, did I get it right? And maybe, how can I make a better loaf of bread next time? Not only is the steam process a big part of food, but so are chemical reactions or changes that happen when you put two things together. In the case of bread, one really important chemical reaction is the one that happens when you put yeast and sugar together. This makes a gas called carbon dioxide, which causes the dough to rise and creates tiny bubbles in it. Now, let's think about the tools for making and eating food. A kitchen is full of simple machines like levers, screws, wedges, and wheels and axles. Depending on the task, some work better than others, and there are times when you might not have the right tool, so you might need to make a decision about what might be the best replacement. Next time you're helping out in the kitchen, be sure to pay close attention to the steam process. Get curious about the science behind what you're crafting and consider the many roles of the tools that you'll be using. Remember, all cooking should be done with adult supervision. It's time to get creative and practice using the steam process. Here's the challenge. Make a vehicle out of foods and kitchen items you have at home. You get to choose how to engineer it. The size, shape, and looks are all up to you. The tough part? The vehicle has to be able to roll. What can you use for the wheels? Cucumber slices? Mini cheese wheels? Sushi? Maybe the body of the vehicle will be a cracker or a toaster pastry. Once you've created your rolling vehicle, Make predictions about how far it might travel when you push it. Or get a friend or sibling involved and see whose vehicle can hold the greatest number of almonds. Because we're celebrating, you're allowed to play with your food, so have fun! Be sure to eat or share your creations afterward. Thanks for learning with Lakeshore! And be sure to check out the other STEAM videos here on our YouTube channel. Happy STEM and STEAM Day!